Two bears. Great. Yeah, lots of bears. Two bears waiting for you. Square and X. It's called Square and X. Yeah, what's up, everybody? And welcome to my freaking Let's Play of Life is Strange. I got the season pass lately, and I just want to Let's Play this for a while. And you don't have to worry about Persona 3. Tales of Hearts, Trails of Graces, all of them are gonna be on the channel as well. Since this is a little shorter than the rest of them, we might as well do this one. Uh, it's all the way up. Fucking so, bears. Yeah. What are you so do that one. Do that one. Ooh, look at all these. Yeah, what the fuck is making that noise? Hey, I, I clicked on help and okay, settings, video settings. Much. Oh, yes. If we are gonna play a scary game together, yeah, turn the music down a little bit. Yes. Is there gonna be a co-op scary game coming out? Huh? Yeah. I think that's subtitles. Be... Yes, we need I think subtitles. Those gonna be fun too. Vibration. Yes. <laughs> fuck you, bears. Oh fuck you. We got that little contact. No, I think it's just the season pass. I already got the season pass. Get the season pass. It was this episode two, but I already have the season pass. Storm too. Storm was a a badass bitch. Not that Harry Berry uh Storm. Not her. Not that uh what's her whatever her name is, Rogue. They were very weak and toned down. Very toned yeah, down. Yeah, if you look at the the cartoon. I said I'd rather have a new cartoon compared No, a new to, movie. Yeah. Cartoon, cool. Like a remake movie. Not making Warreen the main kind of character like all the time, okay? You know he was my favorite character. Yeah. Well, favorite male character. I even like Cyclops. Cyclops, I liked him. You didn't like him or you liked him? I liked him. Uh oh. His love oh for God. Jean Grey was one of my favorite things in the. Spiders! Okay, guys, let's start this. Even though we already did start it, I just exited out of the game. It's based on the tr oh story based that features players' choice of consequences of all your end game actions and decisions would impact the past, present, and future. Oh, it's just like um. Of course, a bear comes. What's it called, Trita? Walking Dead. Ah, fuck! And uh, bear has to come in here. Oh God! The thunder is so fucking loud. <laughs> going on here this girl's laying on the ground in the rent the stormy weather where am I what's happening Guys, we're in the game. Oh, look at this. Ooh. Oh, trees down. Man, I hate stormy weather, girl. Why you came out here in the stormy weather? Yeah, me too, girl. I'll be blocking everything. Why can't I let us run? Let us run. Let us run. 
Man of Thunder looks freaking scary. It's a tornado! Oh my god, holy crap! That's a big sucker! Oh my god! No, why are you running, girl? It's, it's in the water. Holy crap. Twister! I want to watch Twister now! Holy shit. <laughs> That's the word, girl! <laughs> Oh, it looked like an extra one's inside of it, too. Whoa! Level 11! Whoa! Whoa! That was so surreal. Famously called film Little Pieces of Time. But he could be talking about photography, as he likely was. Okay. I'm in class. Everything's cool. I am okay. From light to shadow. From color to to chiaroscuro. Now, can you give me an example of a photographer who perfectly captured the human condition in I black and white? I didn't fall asleep, and that Anybody? sure didn't feel like a dream. Bueller. Weird. Diane Arbus. There you go, Victoria. Look at this crap. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? I can hear the class laughing at me now. Victoria? Why Arbus? Because of her images of hopeless faces. You feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those... I haven't kept up with my journal as much as I should. She saw humanity as tortured, right? And frankly, it's bullshit. Shh, 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 shh. Keep that to yourself. I can't believe I still Seriously, have this pencil though, case. I, I should upgrade to the 21st century. But I like it old school. And any one of you could do that to me. I do love my analog camera. I should take a quick picture now. What if Arvis chose to capture people at the height of their beauty or innocence? She had a brilliant eye. So, sh 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 I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. Of course, as you all know, the photo portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. <laughs> The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? I did know, but I kind of forgot. You either know this or not, Max. Is there anybody here who knows their stuff? Louis Daguerre was a French painter who created daguerreotypes, a process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. <laughs> Very good, Victoria. The Daguerrean process brought out fine detail in people's face. If anybody else looked at this, what would they think? Shit, what do you mean what they think? And a total bitch. Yeah, <laughs> she's probably just bored with her life. She probably just want to piss everybody off. Have a very special 18th birthday. You're an adult now, but you're still our little girl. Check your account. Don't blow it all at once. <laughs> oh, mommy. Happy birthday, Maxine. We can't believe it's 18 whole years since you were brought to us. Huh? It's faces making them extremely popular from the 1800s onward. The first American daguerreotype self-portrait was done by Robert Cornelius. You can find out all about him in your textbook or even online. 
And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure, and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Victoria doesn't waste a second kissing ass. Even her school books are gift wrapped. I can't believe she made fun of me in class. What is she, 15 years old? And people laughed. Yeah, that means they're 15 years of old. Of course. Victoria has to have the bestest new. I should have known. She'll have better equipment than Blackwell. Well, damn, that's a lot of money, girl. Kate looks so sad and quiet today. Poor thing. Hi, Kate. Oh. Uh, Hi, Max. I want to feel excluded from this process, but I also want everybody to know that this photographic work You seem quiet today. Just thinking too much. Everybody should have I only want to share what I hear that. Want to go grab a cup of tea and bitch about life? Thanks, but not today. I have to go over homework. No worries. Let's hang later. Sure. Um, I'm sorry, but what's with her hair? Obviously, Blackwell spent bank on the computers here. Looks like somebody was already working on this. Cool. Mm-hmm. That looks pretty cool. Wish half my stuff looked good on freaking Photoshop until I get my, uh, my pad. What's that? Huh. This might make a cool shot. Rachel and Amber forever. Oh, it tells me to go in my journal. Oh, looky, looky, we got her. Got her first achievement. Let's see. Oh, there's some pictures we gotta take, huh? Okay. Yeah, hey, I'm playing around right quick. Oh, of course. Damn, bears. they have carbon fiber tripods here. The ball head even has a pan lock? God, I'm such a photo nerd. Oh, girl. No, no, no. We all nerds here. Everybody who watched these games, we all That nerds. was amazing when Mr. Jefferson took a class picture the first week. Even though I didn't want to be in the picture at all, it was fairly fucking cool to watch him at work framing us. I like how the two girl girls are not, like, sitting next to each other in the photo. I love seeing Mr. Jefferson's awesome photos on these magazine covers. Oh. That printer is amazing. I'd love to see how it reproduces my pictures. I could pump out a whole gallery show with that thing. When I don't suck. Now I wish I wouldn't have read this. Purge. Holy shit, this girl got a porn video? Who forced you to do that, girlfriend? So cool to see Mr. Jefferson's actual published pictures. Gives me hope. <laughs> I like how the pictures look like, um... This is definitely where cameras go to heaven. Oh man, they have those sweet ultrasonic lenses. And look at that vintage rangefinder. What? I want, I want it all. Fucking bear. We know what this TV does. Man, he even has the best plasma HDTV for a class monitor. Can't wait to watch some oh, more documentaries great. on this bad boy. Even in pictures, the forest around here always looks mysterious. You can never escape the lighthouse here. Whoa, Mr. Jefferson is not messing around with that monster. He probably paid 20 grand for that camera. I bet he gets pristine digital images. Every time I look at Victoria, I feel like she's talking smack about me. She does have that face. This is ridiculous. I always get so shy and nervous around Mr. Jefferson. Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes, 
Excuse you. No, Victoria. Excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. Do I have to? I just don't think it's that big a deal. Max, you're a better photographer than a liar. Now, I, I know it's a drag to hear some old dude lecture you, but life won't wait for you to play catch up. You're young, the world is yours, blah, 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 right? But you do have a gift. You have the fever to take images, to frame the world only the way you envision it. Now, all you need is the courage to share your gift with others. And that's what separates the artist from the amateur. That was it. That's all he wants to talk about. This is ridiculous. I always get so shy and nervous around Mr. Jefferson. Oh, I can leave now, right? Okay. Let's go. Let's go. Here's the poster for the contest. Mr. Jefferson really expects me to enter. Why? I don't know if I'm ready for my 15 minutes of infamy. You didn't tell me how cute I looked yet. I was about to. You Welcome always to the real world. Cute. Hot. Then I might send you a special picture. What's the point of even Oh my god, look how fat she plays it so shiny. I need a serious time out in the bathroom. Splash water on my face and make sure I don't look like a total loser. I hate that class, it's so fucking boring. I hate that class, it's so freaking boring. <laughs> She's so fucking shy. Girl, you just like me. Put on headphones. All right, guys, here it is. Life is strange. Mm, I'm liking the music. Awesome. Alyssa is always texting, but she doesn't hang out with a lot of people. Evan doesn't say much to me, but his photos are very cool. There's Taylor, always waiting for Victoria. I think that's Courtney. She's such a slave to Taylor and Victoria. Ah, the science room. Here's the portal to Warren's brain. These missing persons posters are popping up everywhere. Respect. Too bad nobody doesn't get respect in this film. I shouldn't be so stingy with my blood. <laughs> I wouldn't be so stingy with my blood. That's Dana talking to... I think his name is Justin. Stella is always deep in her notes. She didn't come to Blackwell to mess around. Good for her. Shame I can't say the same about a lot of people around my district. I've seen Brooke hanging out with Warren. She seems like his type. Yeah, she's cute. I want her hair. But I want the blue light. Holy shit. Poor Daniel, he's so nice. I wish I could beat the shit out of Logan. Me too. Bullying is never okay. Another one. It looks like she's been gone for months. Yeah, I like it when the bullets fight back. Don't need a PC, missed the Poetry Jam tryouts, and I did not steal that backpack. I did not steal that backpack. It must be a cool backpack. That's so messed up. I should contact them to find out what I can do. As if I am. And another one. I wonder what actually happened to her. Good thing I left my AK at home. My good! You can never have enough ghosts and skeletons in the hall. No, I want a snack. I don't want nothing to drink. Fine, give me some orange soda. They should just call it a sugar machine. Exactly. That would be awesome if you put money in there and a bag of sugar dropped out. Mm -hmm. 
Juliet. There's Juliet from my dorm. Yet another Vortex Club disciple. Figures Juliet would be dating Zachary. Jocks sucked up in the Vortex Club. God, Samuel is such a weirdo. But I kinda like that about him. He's cute. I like skater boys. Too bad they don't like me. Well, what's wrong with you? The Bigfoot stomp. I should develop some school spirit. Go team. Eh, I don't really care about sports and everything. <laughs> Yay, Halloween, my favorite time of year. Oh yes, yeah, that's twins. That's our favorite time of year too. We're just evil that way. There's the lighthouse again. To all of you, American girls. How many students ever actually memorize all this shit? Oh uh, yeah, I don't remember. I guess we all should these days. Miss Grant is a great science teacher. She must be fun. Rachel Amber. She's so pretty. I hate these posters. So sad. Hayden? There's Hayden, another Vortex Club bro. But he's actually not an ass. Oh, I can hardly wait to never be too cool like Nathan and Victoria. Lame. Sure <laughs> Nope, this is the man's bathroom. Empty. Good. Nobody can see my meltdown. Except for me. Wash okay. the hands, wash the hands. That's a, somebody's little chihuahua. Just relax. Outside. Stop torturing yourself. You have a gift. Fuck it. Oh. The hell? Oh. When a door closes, a window opens. Or something like that. Oh, so I put I hate you, Victoria. Okay, girl, you don't get a photo op like this every day. Yeah, take the camera out. Is like, ah, I don't like the flash. What are you doing in a girl's bathroom? It's cool, Nathan. <laughs> Don't stress. You, you're okay, bro. Just count to three. Don't be scared. You own this school. If I wanted, I could blow it up. <laughs> you're the boss. They always take their homes. So what do you want? I hope you check the perimeter, as my step-ass would say. Now, let's talk business. I got nothing for you. Wrong. You got hella cash. That's my family, not me. Oh, boo-hoo, poor little rich kid. I know you've been pumping drugs and shit to kids around here. I bet your respectable family would help me out if I went to them. Man, I can see the headlines now. Leave them out of this bitch! I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Where'd you get that? What are you doing? Come on, put that thing down! Don't ever tell me what to do! I'm so sick of people trying to oh, control me! Shit. You're going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! Oh! Yeah, it looked like he regretted that, though. He dropped the gun after all. But I do like it how he... What the fuck? <laughs> How can that be? Just like the hawk? I was in the bathroom. He shot that poor girl. I held up my hand. And then I was back here. These pieces of time can frame us I already heard this lecture. From light to shadow. 
from color. Now Kate is being hassled again. And if Victoria's phone rings, this is real. Now, oh, shit! Can you give me an example of a Man, I cannot believe this. Captured the human condition in black and white. Okay, if I'm crazy, I might as well go all the way. Can I actually reverse time? Victoria, why Arvis? Yeah, wait before I drop my damn camera. There we go. Can you give me I an actually of did a it. Photographer who perfectly captured the human, human time machine. Anybody? Bueller? Max, Diana. don't freak out. Not yet. Go, Victoria. Why Arvis? Because of her images. When of I took my selfie, Jefferson asked me a question. If he does again, I'll know this is for real. Kids call a selfie, a dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition, and Max has a gift. I know I'm not dreaming this. It's real. I can tell. So I can go back in time. Selfie expression. What if that girl isn't dead yet? Can I save her? Portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography. For I need to go to the bathroom quickly and check it out. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please? Tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits. I'm sorry. I feel sick. May I be excused? Nice try, Max. But you're not going to get away that easy. We can talk more after class. Is there anybody oh, here shit. who knows this? Jefferson stuff? wants to keep me after class. And I need time to save that girl. A process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. Bitch. What if I rewind again and give him the right answer? <laughs> well, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please... Tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits. The Daguerrean process, invented by a French painter named Louis Daguerre around 1830. Somebody has been reading as well as posing. Nice work, Max. <sighs> the Daguerrean process made portraiture hugely popular, mainly because it gave the subjects clear defined features. You can learn more when you actually finish reading the assigned chapters. Max is so far way ahead of everything. <laughs> and guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Max, you are not crazy. You are not dreaming. It's time to be an everyday hero. Oh yes. <laughs> Let's do this. Oh, yeah. Whoops, sorry. <laughs> for the competition, everybody in class is turning in a photo, so you see the dilemma? I know, Mr. Jefferson. I just worked so hard on the shot, and I'm sure you know what it's like to be consumed by your work. Why is this happening? Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes. Excuse you. No, Victoria. Excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. Uh, yeah. I'm not sure I have one. Given your selfie output, I'm sure you must have about a thousand pics by now. It'll take a long time to find a good one. Max, don't wait too long. John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Shut up, Barry. Go on now. Don't let me stop you. By your work. I just really think Everyday Heroes is an... Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes. Excuse you. No, Victoria. Excuse us. 
I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. I'm on top of it. I think John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Max, you're on fire today. All the right answers, good. Make sure you finish working on it by today. I have faith in you. Yeah, take that witch bitch. I hope I have enough time to get to the bathroom. Please, please. Oops. Anybody want to carry around? I'm serious. Come on. We have to run. Run, go fun. You have to save that girl. You know I don't tease. I hate that science class with those nerds. Oh. What's that got to do with anything? <laughs> because if you send me a picture, I won't be bored. You suck. Don't send that picture, girl. He's gonna send it to all his buddies when he gets okay, it. Okay, Max, retrace every step. I washed my face. I shredded my photo. Then the butterfly flew in. And I took a photo. Leave them out of this bitch. I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Where did you get that? What are you doing? Don't Come on, put that thing down. Tell me what I need a hammer to break it Grand open. Bear, you can fuck people off. trying to control yeah, me. Right. You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? There's the hammer. Now I can break this goddamn glass. Oh, fuck. Holy shit, I can't let this happen. If I can reverse time again, I can help her. Oh. Don't ever tell me what to do. I'm so sick of people trying to control me. You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? No way. Don't ever touch me again, freak. Another shitty day. That did not happen. This cannot be real. It's real, girl. We gotta I just run. saw a girl get shot and then saved her. What the fuck is going on? Do not freak out. Hey, do you hear that fire alarm? That means you should be outside. I had to use the bathroom. Girls always use that excuse. Excuse for what? For whatever you're up to. Your face is covered in guilt. The alarm tripped me out. Then trip on out of here, Missy. Or are you hiding something? Leave me alone, oh. faggot. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Madsen. The situation is under control. There's no emergency here. Leave Miss Caulfield alone and please turn off that alarm since that's your job. Dang, he was all on your butt, huh? You look a little stressed out. Are you okay? I'm... I'm just a little worried about my future. You're sweating pinballs. Is that all you're thinking about? You could always be up front with me, Max. Or have you done something wrong? Is that it? Well, Max, talk to me. I just got sick in class. Um... Female trouble. Except you're wandering around like a zombie. And do you think that's the first time a student has used that line on me? It's the truth. I felt dizzy in Mr. Jefferson's Just class. tell me what you're hiding. You can trust me. There's nothing to hide. I got sick. It happens, you know. There's that teen toot again. You know, I've, I've heard enough. Don't think I don't know what goes on around here. You've only been here for three weeks and you're already causing conflict. I don't think your parents will approve when they find out. Now get outside with class. Please. No, he does not buy that at all. I may have just flushed my scholarship down the toilet. Yes, I could rewind and actually tell him the truth. But would he believe me, though? You look a little stressed out. Are you okay? No. I'm, I'm just a little worried about my future. 
but you're sweating pinballs. Is that all you're thinking about? You can always be up front with me, Max. Or have you done something wrong? Is that it? Well, Max, talk to me. I just saw Nathan Prescott waving a gun around in the girls' room. Nathan Prescott? You sure? Yes. He was in the bathroom talking to himself with a gun. I saw everything. He was babbling like crazy. Okay, slow down. Slow down. So now you saw this without him seeing you. I was hiding behind a stall. I have the right to be there. It's the girls' room. I know. I know. I just want to be completely clear what happened. Mr. Prescott happens to be from the town's most distinguished family, and one of Blackwell's most honored students. So it's hard for me to see him brandishing a weapon in the girls' bathroom. So what happened next? Then... then he left. I ran out here wondering what to do. Are you gonna bust him? This is... serious charge. I'll look into the matter personally. Thank you for bringing it to my attention. You can tell he's not gonna That's do it? that. After what I told we'll you? We'll continue this discussion later in my office. Please go outside with the rest of your class now, Miss Caulfield. Of course this academic drone won't do anything since the Prescott family owns Blackwell now. Should I rewind and change my story? Should I? He won't do anything. You can tell he won't do anything. Might as well tell him that I got I'm on my period. You look a little stressed <laughs> out. Are you okay? I'm I'm just a little worried about my future. You're sweating pinballs. Is that all you're thinking about? You could always be up front with me, Max. Whatever. Or have you done something wrong? Is that it? Well, Max, talk to me. Yeah. I Wait, this might have consequences. Uh, would he be coming looking for me? I might as well tell him a lie. Tell the lie is much better. A little here. stressed out. Oh my god. You're annoying as hell. I just got sick of Yeah, you better run away. I don't know guys, I don't know. <laughs> I was also thinking what would happen if he found out that I was the one that said something. Rachel Amber. She looks so hopeful and pretty. I wonder what happened to her. Hi, Miss Grant. Excuse me, Max. I know everybody loves being asked to sign a petition, but would you do Miss Grant a favor and hear me out? Sure, I always have time for you. What's the petition? David Matson, our chief of security, wants to put surveillance cameras all around the campus. Halls, classrooms, gym, dorm rooms, etc. Blackwell Academy should be a high school, not a high security penitentiary. That's crazy. I get why school should be on high alert these days, but cameras in the dorm rooms... It's a slippery slope, and it's up to you and your classmates to stand up here. Blackwell Academy has a noble heritage, from the Native Americans who founded this land to the pioneers who shared it in peace. 
Not fear and violence. Oof, that's a lie. You know a lot about Blackwell for being the science teacher. Science is history, Max. And I have a secret wish to teach local lore and legends. There's a lot of unique facts about this you might really enjoy discovering. Now, before I assign you homework with this lecture, will you please sign the petition to keep our campus from going back to 1984? Absolutely. I don't mind security, but not pure surveillance. I knew you were my favorite new student at Blackwell for a good reason. This will have consequences. Okay, I better get to my dorm and grab that flash drive. Look at Stella. Mr. Jefferson has such a gift for different styles. Can't step on her. Hey there, Stella. Hey, I know you. You're the new quiet girl in Jefferson's class. Isn't he incredible? I think so. We're lucky to have such a famous teacher. And I actually love his work. Me too. His New York urban stuff is great, but I'm glad he came back to his Oregon roots. Screw the East Coast elite. It must piss off those pretentious galleries that Mark Jefferson is teaching photography to us Blackwell Hicks. Plus, he is pretty hot for an older guy. If Victoria wasn't all over him, I would definitely make a move. Victoria is pretty obvious. I don't think Jefferson is into her. I don't think she's closed the deal, but she's not the only player. Now, how do you know this? You have a lot to learn here at Blackwell. Rachel Amber absolutely had sex with him. Well, I heard that from a good source. So, you knew Rachel? Not really. I saw her hanging with the other cool kids like Victoria. Not my kind of clique. But I heard insane stories about Rachel. Well. Oh. <laughs> yeah, me too. Oh. <laughs> Squirrel. 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 I would so be there if a Sasquatch actually did battle a Razorback. Hey, Hayden. There she is. The retro selfie master. That's me, all right. You look relaxed as usual, Hayden. It's a skill one cultivates at Blackwell. Especially when one represents the Vortex Club. Not to boast. What the hell is the Vortex Club anyway? It seems so elitist. Only if you're not cool enough to get in. And it doesn't hurt your resume. If you say so. I do. But you should actually come hang with us one night, then you wouldn't be so inclined to gossip. You mean hang with the Vortex Club? That sounds like a setup to a horrible prank. Chillax, paranoia girl. We're not that desperate for fun. We know how to do that on our own. It seems weird to think about partying with all those Rachel Amber posters up. You're high. Rachel used to hang out with us too. She was a blast. Smart, not bitchy like, you know. Do you really want Nathan Prescott to represent? Oh, please. Nathan is like everybody's voodoo doll. Kill the rich kid. He's all right and a fun guy to hang with. Fuck the haters. <laughs> Fair enough, but I'm still not going to party with him. Your loss, bro, is fucking hilarious when he's blazed. And he does always have the best shit. So you knew Rachel Amber? I knew she liked to party. <laughs> fun to be around. Oh, yeah, and she was hot. 
did Victoria like Rachel? She seems like the jealous type. Don't think you know Victoria so well. She respected Rachel, even if she didn't act like it. Rachel was actually a member of the Vortex Club? No. Rachel was like her own club. She was actually too cool for us. And I'll deny I ever said that. <laughs> what do you think happened to her? Um, uh, whatever happens to people who disappear without a trace. Let's talk later, Hayden. Bye, Max. No, I have to get my chemical right on and study. We should get you and Dana out one night. Yeah, that's what she meant by the cool person. Hi, Brooke. Let me guess. You want to fly my drone? I'd love to. I love planes and balloons and... This is neither. Do you know what a drone really is? A weapon, right? Uh, you read too many conspiracy sites. This might be too complicated for you. Funny. Warren said you were smart. Please. Step back. Whoa. Okay, rewind. Hi, Brooke. Let me guess. You want to fly my drone? Is that really yours? Is that even legal? Of course. Nobody knows about it yet. Isn't it considered a weapon of war? Uh, you read too many conspiracy sites. This might be too complicated for you. Honey, Warren said you were smart. Please, step back. Sorry, Max. I have to focus on making sure this drone doesn't crash. Well, either way, I'm gonna be dumb. Either way, she's dumb, okay? Hee hee hee. Pom pom pom. Yo, Justin. Check out the Max. Come to thrash? Oh yeah? Bring it. What's your first move gonna be? Uh... Jump? You're such a poser. If you can't even name a simple nose slide or a tray flip, you should walk on. There's Justin and his skater posse. They're so cute doing their tricks. Don't try to fit in. What's up, Daniel? Oh, hi, Max. Could I, um, ask you a question? Would you mind letting me sketch you? I do put my sketches on Facebook, though. I'd be honored, Daniel. Makes me feel like a muse. Funny you should say that. I was just thinking about my real muse. Rachel Amber. You knew her? No, but once she asked me to draw her portrait, oh, she was a natural. Hard to avoid her posters all over campus. Kills me to see her sweet face used as a crime photo. Ah, she had a good heart. So what happened to her? There's gotta be a story. She just stopped coming to class. Some people said she ran away. Some say she jumped off a cliff. I just hope she's okay. Okay. Why don't you start drawing me? Even though I must be a step down from Rachel. No way! You're a good substitute muse. Oh, that's a good posture. Uh, awkward for me. <laughs> good. Good. You sound like a creeper, dude. Well, he's getting bullied, so I'm not gonna... Best portrait ever. Wait a minute, everything has consequences? Are you freaking serious? Who's that sitting alone over there? Evan's portfolio always looks so uber pro. I'd love to see his photos in there. Hey, Evan. Mind if I check out your cool portfolio? Let's see if you're worthy of it, Max. 
you'll have to answer a simple question. Who photographed the famous fallen soldier? Holy crap. Oh, how am I supposed to know this? Someone with the waiter's name. Isn't it Robert Dorno? Oh my. You can't even tell the difference between street photography and photojournalism. No portfolio peak for you. Hey, Evan. Let's see if you're worthy. <laughs> v. Robert Kappa, of course. I love his work, despite the controversy about that photo. My, my. This quiet child knows things. That's why I'm here. You're a kindred spirit, Max. Would you care for a perusal of my portfolio? It's not a privilege I grant to many. I'd be honored, sir. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, open that up. Open that up. Oh, there's a lot of Rachel ones in here. Hi, Evan. As you can see, Rachel Amber was my favorite model here. She knew exactly what angles worked best with my eye. You were close. Like brother and sister in arms. She understood me, never judged me. I hated her vortex club click, but she never acted like she cared. Her friends were her friends. What do you think happened to her? Nothing good, Max. Nothing good. I would have said the same thing. Nothing good would happen to that. Let's see. Dormitories is up there. Okay, guys. I'll end this part here. Oh, look, it's almost.